Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. What we're doing today on the FRS behind us is throwing on a new set of wheels. So I've been waiting on wheels forever and ever and ever and I'm so freaking excited, so hyped to get a set of wheels on this car. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna hype it up at all. I'm not gonna bore you guys with any talking. Let's just get right into it. So these here are the wheels we are gonna be putting on the FRS. My bro. What's up dog? What are the specs? So the uh, fronts are 18 by 10, negative 48. Tire size is a 255-35-18, so set some meat. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> and then the rears are like my deep dish pizza, my guy. They're yeah. 18 by 11s, negative 58 degrees offset, and uh, running a 295-30-18. Those are like a seven, seven inch lift? Six and a half. Six and a half. Big boy. That is big boy. Well, let's throw them on the car. Hell yeah, deal. Let's see how they look. You want to throw them on? I got you, dog. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Dude, these are last me for like so long, like a year and a half. Dude, all black in this car with a little bit of green shit, maybe kind of tight. Make sure I don't hit the kit. <laughs> As I just say that, I hit it. Come on, dude. There we Water go. Up on there. Oh shit, that's that's so thick. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know if that's <laughs> Bro. That's really wide. I'm curious how it's gonna be when it airs out. Cause the rears, you know Manually how Manually air it out for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know how the rears can burden when you air out in the front? front? Right, right. Yeah. That's sticking out like a solid inch and a half, easy. That is so wide. Dude. Gnarly though, it might clear, but you know what, you know what the, you wanna know the difference? I can't even talk. What's that? These might fit if you had really shit tires, Tire. like I did. Right. But I was running a, a 285 on a 12 and a half. Right, that's, that's, that's huge. That's a huge stretch, and you're 295 on a 11 and a half? 11. And all, yeah, that's like off, dude, you're bulging. That ain't, that's like my Tacoma, bro. That's not like opposite of stretch. It looks good, like, It whatever. looks sick though, yeah. Let's, let's get all the other wheels on. Oh my lord. <laughs> Girlfriend's reaction. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I don't think they fit. These are like the specs that you, that you ask for online. Like you read through the forums and actually do them. And then you get this. <laughs> you know Some shit mean? that just doesn't fit. Dude. These should fit the Brembo's. Is that a four inch slip? You want me to do it, Jordan? No, 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 good, good, good. Don't fuck up my calipers, bro. Oh, my, oh, my wrap. Oh, my wrap. Or my brand new bumper. Oh, there's so much clearance. There's so much clearance. Clearance? Oh, dude, that's gonna clear easy. The front These one? are pretty solid. And they fit the big brake kit. Oh, I do by like yeah, half an inch. That's what I was saying. You have so much clearance back there. <laughs> I, dude, they might fit when you air out in the back. But this is some serious meat, though. Like, if it went down like a size. Yeah. Uh, I think this is what why the, the rally backer kit, because there's like a lot of thick parts like everywhere. So it gets super yeah. close. I'm about to trim all that shit. Look at me. What's up? You got dirt all over your face. Do I have dirt on my hat? Nope. <sighs> Thanks, Hog. Mm -hmm. This is the moment of truth. All right. We just have to get the wood out from under the car. Come on. Oh no. It's just hardly fucking not going. Ah, <laughs> dead. shit. This is what you're known for. Dead batteries? Yeah. I know, it's my slogan. Uh -huh. Don't fucking show my turbo to anybody. I have a big turbo under here. Right here. Damn. <laughs> <sighs> so that's what one of these look like, huh? I was like, this is why I want a girlfriend, so like they can jumpstart my car. And that's what I'm here for? Yeah. You guys are so cute, like matchy matchy. I know, yeah. I'm not doing black wheels though on this car. I know, I know where they are. I have a really bad beat somewhere. I haven't figured it out yet. And uh, me too. It just drains completely in like a day, 100%. That's how mine is. It's pretty annoying. I think I know where it's at. I think mine's the water trap. It yeah. froze. Is yours the same way? The water trap? Mm -hmm. So aggressive. It looks so good. Like when it rims. Why are you yelling at me? That shit's tight as fuck. It's tighter than your butt cheeks. <laughs> well guys, here's the new setup. Come check it out. Don't step in the dog shit that's all over the yard from the fucking neighbors. Anyways, front fitment is on point. 
You're the official pinky tester. I know, but it's with your toe, your pinky toe. And I don't have my pinky toe out. I mean, but use your pinky toe. Maybe just by looking at it, I can kind of tell my pinky's not going to even fit in there. Okay, now do the rear. This isn't passed by me. This does not look good. You don't like it? No. Bobby doesn't like my new wheels. <laughs> Babe. I you know how much them. I fucking spent on these wheels and you don't like them? Oh. I spent $3,500 on these wheels and you don't like them. Oh. Fitment's a little whack. Go look at your Genesis Fitment. Oh. You're the one who fitted it. At the end of the day, if Bobby doesn't like them, I'll return you the money for him, bro. Oh. That's fine. That'll work. I guess but, I'll just return them. Can but, I have my money back, bro? Yeah, I got you. Pay me 35 but... <laughs> There's some ones and stuff in there. That'll work. Alright, enough fucking around. Here you go. So guys, these are actually the wheels off Jordan's car. He just came up here from Tri-Cities. Uh, we're just gonna test fit them on the car, see how they look. I'm still waiting on my lips and barrels for the for my wheels I'm putting on here. Also, I have the version 3.5 kit yeah. of, from Pandem, and you have the rally backers. So two definitely separate kits. Yeah, yeah. But we wanna see if Pandem specs versus rally back, backer specs. So, Pretty similar. I'm gonna say the Pandem is probably, what do you say, like 10, 15 mil wider? L mil by millimeters. Yeah. That fits the mini fitment, but with this, just a little bit of stretch or like yeah. thin tires, kill on the game. Yeah. So like if yeah. you look at, yeah, yeah. From the wheel right here, Pretty similar. it's close. Yeah. Like it's super like it's probably like five millimeters difference if that. But that's how it looks with black wheels. Honestly, I'm gonna be completely completely honest with you guys. I don't really like the wheels on this car. Oh, Jordan just no got... no no listen. <laughs> For one, this car needs stretch tires. <laughs> yeah, I do agree with are, that. The bolts are sick though. They yeah, match. those are cool. Okay, okay, put the camera back up. Oh God, I'm just kidding. It, they just don't fit this car. This is not. So when I before I ever build a car, I have like this vision, right? This yeah. is not what I fucking envisioned when I started building this car again, so. These wheels look sick, mine are look sick. Sorry, Jordan. Oh, here's your money back. <laughs> yeah. You can have your money back. I'll buy the wheels back from you. Leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. What do you think of the wheels on this car? Thanks for letting me trade your wheels, bro. I got you. Thanks for refunding them, my wheels, because I, I love those wheels. Babe. What up? I appreciate you for being in my thumbnail model for my clickbait video that everyone's gonna comment down below and say, we got it. What's our name? We should come up with a name for the clickbait. Clickbait King, Clickbait Bob. I don't want to be a part of it. I'm just told to get in the picture. And you literally just asked, should I go sit in front of it for the thumbnail? Did you not? So every clickbait thing, you guys have to say that Bobby's the clickbait because it's her idea. All right, we got the FRS back in the shop. Took the wheels off. This is Jordan's car. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Jordan's over there stealing my tools. But we figured while we have the wheels off this thing, we are going to be ceramic coating them just so they are a lot easier to clean. There, as you can see, there's a ton of spokes in there. So let's get them done. You ready, Jordan? Yes, sir. This is the kit we're gonna be using is the Armor Shield IX made by Avalon King. DVN25 will save you $25 off. First link in the description box below. Oof. With amazing results. <laughs> what do you think of the ceramic coat, bro? Do you honestly like, I don't know, when you learn something new, you overthink it. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. And for me being somebody that like, you know, has a ceramic pro vehicle, never has touched ceramic pro and like learn how to do it. It's honestly like, there's no way you can really mess up onto it. Mm -hmm. And my wheels look absolutely amazing. I think the biggest like advice to, to give somebody that has never ceramic pro anything is one, just like, I don't know what one, watch your videos because they literally help. And two, it's like not overthink it. Like I was, Dude. the biggest thing I was overthinking is like how much do I actually need to put on? Will adding too much affect the density of the gloss or the effect of the product? You're like, no, no, there's no really way to mess up. Like just all you do is just not put water on it for what, two days? You don't need to, things are perfect. If you want to pick up some of the ceramic coat, it'll be first link in the description box below and mm -hmm. I'll have my discount code on the screen. There we go. Can we go out there? Damn. No, that's fine there, bro. I don't care. Before that wasn't wrapped, was it? No. Like whack. Yeah, that looks really good now. Hey, yeah. Jordan, come here. Go follow this man. I'll have them down below. No way. On Instagram Dude, as well. Dude, thank you. Well, I appreciate you. I got you. you. I got you. This is the Graham. If you want to see more of this car, this beautiful car, go give this guy a follow. You all right? All right.
Well guys, my boy Jordan is now gone and went back home to Tri-Cities. I figured while we are on the topic of wheels for the FRS, someone actually challenged me on Instagram to make my stock wheels fit the wide body. So basically what we're gonna do is just add a bunch of spacers, provided I have enough, and make the stock wheels sit flush with the wide body kit. Don't mind the car behind me right now. I have one of my wheels on there. That's what it looks like though. That's a six and a half. So obviously that's way too wide. I'm not gonna show you guys the face of the wheel, but I'll show you a little sneak peek like that. It's gonna look really, really freaking good. These are all the spacers I have that are five and 100. I thought I had more laying around, but this is all I got. So we have two inch right here. These are one and a half. Those are one and those are 15 millimeter. So that's not the best fit in the world guys, but it's pretty good for a stock wheel. So here's what we have. Two five millimeter spacers, a one inch spacer, 15 mil spacer, and a two inch spacer. So what does that equal out to? Like a little bit over four inches? Hmm. Not bad. Let's go do the rear, see what we can do. I think the rear fitment turned out better than the front. That's pretty sick. So what we have in the rear is a two inch, 1.5, a one and a half. Here's how the car looks when it's up in the air. Let's go ahead and get it on the ground, air out and see what happens. I'm honestly very nervous right now to air this thing out. Well, I think that's about as low as the front will sit without like starting to rip the kit off. So let's leave that there. So we got the rear to drop all the way down with no problems at all. Here's how it looks guys, pretty sick fitment. The fronts though, the front is gonna start ripping the kit off. If I go any lower than this, it's gonna hit right up there and start ripping the kit off. So this is how it looks guys, it looks pretty wild. I don't know guys, I don't know. I don't even know why I do this kind of stuff. Whack. It's ridiculous. It looks funny. When someone commented that on my Instagram feed or one of my Instagram posts, I was like, that is a really, really good idea to see how much actual spacer you need. Say if you bought a kit and you wanted good fitment with stock wheels, how much spacer you actually need. And obviously it's way too much to, be, to ever be safe. Like I would never in a million years run this. I ran two inch before, even two inch was kind of sketchy, but stacking spacers, multiple spacers on top of each other, that is just asking for a lot of trouble. I'm gonna go ahead, pull the car in the shop, get these wheels off, get the spacers off, and just leave it back up on the jack stands until we can get the actual wheel parts in that we need and get the new wheels built for this car. It's gonna look absolutely sick. I keep messing around with it, but this thing is gonna be nuts when it's done, at least in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.